Hey, it's Buddy coming at you about PCFs, piping configuration or component files, especially for Plant 3D. A couple of points of interest. Most common piping software has the ability to output a PCF file. It can also be read for free by a variety of third-party software. Plant 3D can recreate finished isometrics and 3D models as intelligent model objects ready for isometric and reporting. And always know your spec before getting started. So let's talk about the power of the PCF. We have the ability inside of Plant 3D to recreate the PCF straight to isometric, as well as the PCF straight to 3D piping. Make sure your piping specs are up to date. In this short demonstration, I will show you how we open up Plant, and then select a PCF that we have already received. And then after we select that PCF, we will run it based on the isometric type that we have selected. We'll hit Create. This will process in the background, and we'll get back to that later. In the meantime, I'm going to switch over to the 3D space and select PCF to pipe command in the ribbon. From there, I will select the PCF that I want to recreate the model of. In this case, I'll select it and then select the gear at the bottom to make sure the specs are in alignment. And in this case, they already are. If they weren't, I would have options to pick a different spec. I'm also going to hit the plus sign and select a second PCF so that I will run both PCFs to 3D models at the same time. So you'll see I have a progress bar at the bottom, which allows me to see when things are completed and where it's at during the process. Once it's done, I can minimize the dialog box and go straight to the objects in 3D. And you'll see as I hold my tooltip over the different components, the data from the PCF is indeed available to us just as simple as a tooltip. And from here I can run new isometrics or create orthographics. Now you notice in the bottom that our isometrics were done and it created four new isometrics. So I'll open those here and I'll go through them real quick. Here is that 6,000 line number that you saw when I ran it as a PCF. And here is the second page. And you'll see as you look through the the isometric here, you'll see that it is a full title block. It has all of its continuation information. Uh, you'll see overall dimensions and all of the way I've configured the isometrics, right? So I have cut piece links and I have a full bill of materials on the right hand side, uh, north arrows, as well as your weld list at the bottom left. So thanks for watching. Hope you get to use the power of the PCF soon.